Hey guys, right, uh, just a quick job on the old van today. Um, here comes the dog. <laughs> you tell us switch the camera on because the dog turns up. All right, old bluey, hey? All right, old boy. Anyway, quick job. Um, so my van's got the windows in the rear, not what right in the rear doors, just sort of after the front doors of the van. Um, I've been looking and looking and looking for just some of them, um, I think they call them insulation mats or blinds or blackout blinds, curtains, mats, whatever they call them. I'm struggling to find any for them back windows. You can get them for the cab, but I've, I've got no reason to put them in the cab because the bulkhead's still in my van, which I plan to keep there. Uh, it, at the end of the day, it's not going to be a full-on camper because I still need it as a van. So all I intend to do is uh, board it out, insulate it and board it out and do some of that four-way stretch and a bit of lino on the floor. I have a couple of camp beds, which I'm more than happy to sleep on and i'm more than happy just to take a camping stove to cook on and things like that so we're not doing a full-on camper here i'm just making it practical to still carry a couple of motorbikes and to be able to sleep in and still use as a van so back to the windows i've been racking my brains i looked at curtains some of them curtains are horrific money and my van's always going to be a bit rough and ready and I don't sort of want to wreck them curtains, you know, shuffling around in there, moving motorbikes. Sometimes we'll go off-roading. If you need to fix a motorbike and it's raining, we'll pull that motorbike inside the van and work on it in there. So it does need to be a bit of rough, bit rough and ready. So posh curtains and all that, eventually with people rubbing by them and squeezing by and doing things like that, good chance they're going to get wrecked. So I've come up with a silly idea. I've bought some yoga mats. Definitely not to do yoga on. Can't, it, yeah, does it look like I do yoga? Anyway, um, I've bought these mats. They're not the color I, <laughs> I ordered. I ordered black and then they contacted me and said they ran out of black. I thought, you, you know what? The, the, the color's not a massive issue to me. Yeah, just, just send me the green ones. So I've got, well, they call it green. It's like a turquoisey, bluey green, something like that. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. They'll, they'll be just these. These things are just getting stuck on there at night. Or if I've got things in the back and I park it up anywhere, I'll put these on just to stop the prying eye looking through the window. Although the windows are sort of dark, you can still see through them if you put your head right up against the glass. Oh uh, yeah, yoga mat. This is six mil thick. It's quite sturdy stuff actually. So it, it won't tear easy. So yeah, it's, it's, it's rough and ready like I, I need it. And then we have some suckers with an M6 thread. All this, everything I've got here is off eBay. So I'm gonna do four in each corner just to try it. And if I feel like it needs it, I'll do one down the middle like so. And then I have, no I don't. Let's get them out. Uh, there. Mud guard washers, penny washers, repair washers, whatever you wish to call them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them for now. Put them back so I don't lose them. And then I've got these, which I do believe they call thumb screws. One, two, three, four, which obviously are M6 to fit them threads. So what I plan to do is cut the yoga mat to the size of my window. Any of there bows, you know, it's not going to be millimetre perfect as so long as it uh, stops people from peering in. Because even, like I say, even though the windows are black, when you're in that van and you've got lights on, you can see in clear as day. So uh, this will stop all of that business. And 
most of all it will do it very very cheaply anyway let's cut this to size and uh, see how we go with it right let's cut the sizes first got uh, got the measurements written down on my notepad Stanley knife this cuts quite easy actually for something right now this glass has got some radiuses this has already got the radiuses on the end of standard so I'm going to cut some about the same as that lid off me tea tea bag tin which is about spot on with this I'm going to draw around this first and cut, cut the radius with the scissors. suckers uh, right now with these depending on what windows you got I guess some windows will have that uh, black band all the way around on the grass that sort of uh, fades off into tiny little black dots you gotta make sure they're away from that and they're actually onto the glass because uh, these don't stick to that bit very well at all Ask, ask me how I know. Yeah, so you gotta make sure you measure down where you fit these onto the yoga mat so it, they are on the actual glass. I do believe that black band with all the little dots is to disperse heat. I think, I could be wrong. Right, so I've got to come three inches in to poke me holes in this mat. One, two, three. I'm gonna go a little bit over actually, it won't hurt. Definitely make sure I'm on the grass. Grass? Glass. I'm gonna go three and a quarter. Oh, where's my pen? There it is. That should. Well, I'm not sure, they definitely will miss that black band. So I'm going to mark all that up and then we'll fit fit the suckers. Oh, I've just got a centre punch to poke through. That'll do it. Then a washer. That spreads the load a little bit. Another washer, then my thumb screw. Right, I'll do the rest of them and we'll go and try it. There we go, that don't look amiss, it's nice and neat. The good thing with these, you're not pulling at the actual mat to get the suckers off. You can just pull them directly off. We'll just give them a bit of a twist and break them off the glass. So you're not, let's like say you're not pulling at the mat. What do you think, Blue? You don't care. Bodie? <laughs> you don't care either. Right, let's go and try it on the window on the van. Right, let's see if they, they fit any good. Oh, not a camera. Yeah, see what I mean? This black stuff, you got the black band and the little dots you gotta get them suckers past here onto the glass because they will not stick very well to this anyway let's see what they look like i'll say i might need some in the middle 
I'll see how it goes first. Job done. That'll do. I think that'll do. That'll do me. It's uh it does its job. I'm sure it's not everyone's cup of tea and the way I've done that. I get that. Some of you are probably building really posh campers and things like that and want all the latest stuff and the really nice blinds or whatever. I get that. But this this little project, it's, it's sort of got to stay as a van because I do all sorts of bits and bobs in this van. It's always got to get two bikes in here and all the gear that you carry with that. So... If I was to start turning this into a full-on camper, I would lose the space for bikes and all the other stuff that I need to be able to do what I do with this van. So as time goes on, this van will, the insulation will be finished. I will board it. I will put a floor in, bit of lighting and some of that four-way stretch stuff. That's about all I'll be doing to this because like I say, I need the space for bikes and all my gear. Um, I'm all right with, uh, pulling the camp beds out and sleeping on the camp beds in here if I do wish to do any cooking a little camping stove on a table either in here or outside so yeah it's not going to be a full-on posh camper hence why I've done this little cheap job the way I've done it because as I said couldn't really find anything for the, these windows I'm sure there is definitely there will be if I kept on searching and searching I just thought you know what I'm going to make something myself it's quite durable stuff it doesn't tear easy so I'm they should be fairly long lasting and when i pull them off the windows i'll be able to roll them up and they'll go in a little bag or up above the cab there where i've got everything stuffed up there at the minute they'll go up there out of the way yeah i'm sure i could have done it a bit more precise but yeah they're just a temporary thing for at night or when i leave the van unattended so people can't peer in and see what i've got in the back here while i run in a shop or things like that that's all they're for. They're not there to look pretty, they're there to do a job. At the end of the day, you can get these yoga mats in all sorts of colors, black, pink, blue, green. You can even get Adidas ones. <laughs> That'll make people think when you've got Adidas blackout blinds on your van. <laughs> so yeah, it's it can be cheap or expensive as you want it to be, like any job. I just wanted to do something quick and easy and fairly cheap. So to do both of these sides, I've done that side as well. I worked out about 25 quid for all the bits to get the whole job done. And I think all in all, it took about 20 minutes. So not a massive job. And like I say, it does the job and the fairly sort of hard wearing and sturdy it certainly doesn't tear easy i know that anyway i'll do cheers for watching guys take care